Hello everyone, today our project name is IoT based notice board for college announcements. So for this you have used a Raspberry Pi microcontroller and uh, we have used a power supply as a which plays the role of SMPS and here LED indication and a buzzer indication and a 12 volts input through this power jack and we also have to connect the 5 volts to the raspberry pi board initially you need to connect uh, this raspberry pi board to your laptop for that uh, you need to change your mobile hotspot credentials as username project1 and password 12345689 so you can able to see that the raspberry pi is getting connected to your mobile hotspot after powering on this raspberry pi using 5 volts adapter and you also need to connect 12 volts uh, adapter to this power jack as an input power supply to that scrolling display and later you also need to connect your laptop to the same hotspot to which raspberry pi is getting connected and then you need to install two softwares in your laptop one is advanced IP scanner another one is vnc viewer so using advanced IP scanner you can able to find the IP address of Raspberry Pi and copy that and paste that in VNC viewer. There it will ask for administrative credentials, enter username as Pi and password Raspberry Pi so that uh, this Raspberry Pi boards get connected to your laptop. Once the Raspberry Pi gets connected to your laptop your display will look like this. On uh, desktop itself you can see main test.py. Uh, open it in python 3 idle by right clicking on it so this is the main code for our project and you also need to open the php url so mbnotisport.vc.online is the url for this project and this is the home page all you need to do is to create the credentials manually you need to enter teacher name and uh, you need to create a teacher name and all these credentials and save it i already created a, a teacher name as abc and then you need to go for classes There, uh, I already created as easy a section. So, likewise, you can create another class name also. After creating class name, you need to save it and then go to timings. So, make sure the from time and to time is a uh, three minutes gap from the time where you want to get an alert. Means. Uh, Make sure that the time is uh, incorrect here and uh, enter the time according to your mobile mo mobile phone. So right now time is 9.58. So if I want to kept alert for 10.3. The alert notification will come to that uh, notice port scrolling display at 9.59. So like that it will work. So 3 minutes difference will be there. Uh, from where you will get alert and this from time so I am putting that time for 10 uh, 9 uh, 10 7 to 10 15 I am putting the time and saving And also how to create the subjects too after time so I created two subjects already mass and uh, English so you can directly go to timetable select the recent time 
clear up the day and save it and you have to click this run application and also you need to run the code as you have kept the time for 10 7 we need to wait up to 10 5 to get an alert and scrolling display so we have received the data according to that uh, leds will blink and you can able to see the scrolling on the lcd display class subject t-shirt name and timing so it is going to be the next class so that is the indication of one second led and buzzer indication So in the meanwhile time, we also have a manual message sending uh, application in this PHP server itself. Whatever the message that you will write here will be sent to the scrolling display. And uh, you can able to see that in this API also. So let's see. Exam has started. I am going to print this on scrolling display. After putting my message, I am clicking on send. Make sure that that same message is been uh, displayed on this API key. Because if it is not displayed in here means you won't get that on scrolling display. And exam has started. So once that uh, message has been given, whatever that might be, timing of the classes or any manual message, it will be stored uh, internally so that uh, only one time has the message given, but it will display continuously until the next data has been given to it. So that's how this uh, LED scrolling display will work for college announcements. Thank you. So this message is being uh, given as the session started indication in the middle of this timing at whatever it might be in between 10.7 to 10.15 you will get this message and along with that a continuous uh, beeping of a buzzer and LED will be given as indication to the students who haven't attended this session. So like that you can able to display manual message or the timing of the classes automatically. Thank you.